It's your boy, Big Baby Miller here. Listen, we're knocking on all bums. First, it's going to be Dylan White. If it's going to be Joseph Pogba. But you know who got the story right? Mr. Boxing today. You check him out. He got all the latest news on the heavyweight division. And if you don't know me, you soon will. Because I'm kicking everybody ass. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So I'm on Dillian White's Instagram account. Just looking around, see if there's any news as far as who he's going to fight on that October 28th card. And looking around in typical Dillian White, he's training, um, doing what he has to do. That's one thing, man. He does stay in shape. He's been taking digs at Lucas Brown. Uh, and I think it's pretty funny right here. Let me see. He just posted this one. This was from eight hours ago. And it's Lucas Brown posting another video of himself working out. And this is why I, you know, as far as from what I can see, I was kind of calling BS on Lucas Brown saying he didn't want the fight with Dillian White. Now, Lucas Brown, Ricky Haddon, they have their own reasons. They say the money isn't right and they wanted more than seven weeks. OK, that's their reason. Cool. They can live with it. As a fan, I'm ready to move on. And I think Dillian White, although this is funny and I know he's trying to poke fun. Let's just move on from that and let's just go and just see who really does want to fight you. Now, this is funny. Again, the Lucas Brown turning it down. We can crack jokes at that. OK, cool. But there's somebody that uh, really wants to fight you. And his name is um, Jarrell Miller. This was a, Miller put this up a few days ago. This is his official Instagram. And he's saying that Dillian White blocked him on Twitter. And they were going back and forth for a while. I did a video on this. This was uh, six days ago, a week ago. So, yeah, man, Miller wants to fight you. Then he's also made some other comments on his uh, Instagram page about fighting you. And in this message, you can see right here, he says, um, and I'm coming to bust your ass, you know, so England, I hope you're ready. He says he wants to come in England and fight you, man. He says, we flying to England who come in Brooklyn, Queens. You can see it right here. He says he blocks me on Instagram and Twitter. So this is somebody that really wants to fight you. I understand we like to crack jokes and, you know, I understand this is a funny joke. OK, but let's get serious for a second. And I'm not judging you as, you know, outside the ring, just just inside the ring as a boxer. Let's get that Jarrell Miller fight. That's somebody that really wants to fight you. Let's get that fight. It makes all the sense in the world. I'm hearing Hellenius name being thrown in there. You know, let's let's look at these uh, rankings on fight news. Now, these may be off. Because Fight News, sometimes they update their rankings kind of late. But let's just go with these. This is uh, as of today on their website. Um, let's see here. Hellenius. He's rated number nine by the IBF. He's not rated by the WBO. He is not rated by the WBA. And he is not rated by the WBC. Jarrell Miller just got taken out of the WBC. I'm not sure as to why, but he's not in the WBC anymore. I'm looking at their top 15. They got some guys that kind of questionable to be in here. Katoro Fujimoto. Uh, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. But um, let's see. Jarrell Miller is rated by the WBA. He's number six. He's rated number five by the IBF and number six by the WBO. So he's highly rated. Dillian White. Um, he's rated number 10 by the WBO. And let's see here. Number six by the IBF. Number eight by the WBA. And number three by the WBC. So that's the fight right there. Let's get that fight. Let's get the Jarrell Miller fight. Eddie Hearn, show him the money, man. When I'm on here talking about these fights, a lot of fans say that you have all this money. And um, it's going to be a big card. So this 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 uh, Joshua Pulev is going to generate a lot of money. There's going to be, what, 70,000 fans there? 70,000 plus? They call Eddie Hearn Big Bank Hank. He has all the money in the world. He can get fighters to come to the UK. According to Hearn, that's where the heavyweight scene is at, correct? Is in the UK. Okay, cool. Let's give Miller a few dollars, man. Let's give him that money. He can't be asking for too much, right? Um, I mean, if you really want to show me something, how about call out Pavekin? Call Pavekin out. You won't be the first one. I heard uh, Shannon Briggs say that he wants to fight Pavekin. According to Briggs, I did a video about that too. He said that they're in talks. To fight in November, possibly. I'm not sure how true that is, according to Briggs. Amir Mansoor wants he said that he will fight Pavekin. He was going to fight Pavekin when Pavekin fought Rodinko and a few months ago. Um Amir Mansoor said it was between him and Rodinko, and Pavekin and his team end up going with Rodinko. But so it's not like uh nobody else wants to fight Pavekin. It's just Shannon Briggs and uh Amir Mansoor. 
both said that they were, or Mansoor was close to getting a fight with him. He said he was still want to fight him. I heard him talk in an interview a few days ago. So, come on, man. And I did a video in July, and I knew that this it was going to be a possibility that this was going to happen. When all that stuff was going on with White and Hearn, they were calling out Wilder for, was it, $4.5 million. And, you know, people saying he's scared, he's going to fight a bum instead, or he's going to fight Stavern instead. Why not take this fight? Why not take this fight? He's not going to fight Ortiz. He's not. He's fighting Ortiz. So now it's your turn, Dillian White. You had your tick over, as you guys call it, against uh, Malcolm Tan when you came here to the States. I thought you should have fought somebody, you know, more formidable than that. But you said, hey, I got something big coming up. Just sit tight. I hope it's not Robert Hellenius. Hellenius, I would rather see Hellenius rematch Johan Duopa. I want to see them two fight again in a rematch. You know, but let's get the Jarrell Miller versus Dillian White fight, man. Two young dudes, brash, talk a lot of shit. That's the fight that a lot of us fans want to see. I'm going to keep making videos to do my part to see that fight. Um, I think it's a great fight, man. Let's get that fight made. Because the Pulev and Joshua Presser... Um, you know, looking at the first one and just the build up to this card, they're not really going to talk too much shit. They're going to talk with their fist on fight night. Every fighter, you know, doesn't talk shit like that. But um, Jarrell Miller and Dillian White will, you know, two. And this can be kind of a title eliminator type of fight. Maybe they can set it up. Um, You know, they're rated in a few of these sanctioned bodies together, man, besides the WBC. So why not set it up to where? You know, they're in the eliminator type of fight. You know what I mean? So that's what I like to see. I don't want to see the uh, Dimitrenko, although Dimitrenko just um, had a resurgence of his career. He knocked out the um, blue chip prospect, um, Adrian Granat, the Swedish prospect. But I don't, you know, I don't want to see Hellenius walk Dimitrenko. Nah, nah, I don't really don't want to see that. Although Dillian White said he was fighting tan. So he can get a better feel for taller opponents, which makes me scratch my head because you already fought Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? But let's get that Jarrell Big Baby Miller fight, man. That's the fight that us fans want to see. You and Jarrell Miller. That's the fight. He's calling you out. Let's not focus on Lucas Brown, although that would have been a good fight itself. Lucas Brown obviously doesn't want to, he doesn't want the work. How about you unblock? Jarrell Miller and you guys keep talking shit to each other and Eddie Hearn set the fight up. That's the fight we want. 